Now, first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Tom Messner. Well, hey there, Tom. Uh, we did see some rain today, and I guess we're going to have to go through some more tomorrow. Yeah, the rain is going to pick up overnight tonight. It's one of those deals where, you know, when you're sleeping, I think you're going to hear it on the window or outside. It's going to come down at a pretty good clip for a while. And then a steady rain early tomorrow before it goes back to shower. So weather headlines, you're going to see what I'm talking about here. Pretty windy overnight tonight with that rain arriving. And I'll show you where it is in just a second. Rain and then showers by Friday afternoon. Weekend weather, we've got that forecast for you. So hang on just a minute here. Here's what we're dealing with at the time. We've got a little rain just coming into uh, places like northern Essex County in northern New York, but also as you look into Vermont, not much going on just yet, but on the flip side, yeah, there's the steady rain over in St. Lawrence County and certainly over toward Watertown, and the whole thing is going to step our way. So it's here overnight tonight and in northern New York a little bit before that. And as I say, I think first thing tomorrow morning we'll be dealing with that too. I mentioned that it's going to be on the windy side out there. Let's take a look at the future wind gusts. And we're looking at 1 o'clock in the morning, still gusts over 40 miles an hour, I think, for some of us. So it's breezy in the morning tomorrow. Champlain Valley points to the east. To the west, the wind is starting to subside. And then by later in the day, it's really giving us a break. So windiest part of tomorrow is going to be in the morning. Temperatures, how about this? Look at the 50s. It's <laughs> still on the weather map. Northern New York into the Champlain Valley. We certainly have some 40s, like eastern Vermont spending the day in the 40s. And after tomorrow, a wet day, we get into the weekend. I'm loving Saturday, partly to mostly sunny, 62 on Saturday. I think more clouds around on Sunday, although maybe some indications that later in the day could be okay. In the meantime, I think we'll find a few spot showers. Look at that high temperature, 68. Not too shabby, but again, that's Saturday, Sunday. This is tomorrow, Friday. We've got a steady rain in the morning and pretty early in the morning, I think, and then it's kind of tapering off to showers. I think that happens by mid to late morning, and then it's around during the afternoon, so it's not raining the whole time, but no temperatures are going to be in the 60s. So let me show you how this all works. This is what's going on 2.30 in the morning, a few hours from right now, and here's the beginning of tomorrow. So look at the steady rain, eastern Vermont, and really most of the area. We'll see how this whole thing really does line up. But then we take you through the day. You can see it sort of tapers to showers, and it's much more showery by 5, 5.30 in the afternoon. Look at this. That's the back edge of the clouds. That means we find clearing. That, everybody, is a good-looking Saturday. Saturday night, we've got more clouds late getting into Sunday, maybe a couple of spot showers, and perhaps things a little bit brighter by later in the day, too. First alert weather. Windy with rain out there tonight. Temperatures 40s to even near 50 in the Champlain Valley. For tomorrow, I think we do find a steady rain early, then it kind of tapers to showers. If you're not at 60 degrees, you're going to be close to it. Upper 50s to low 60s, we'll call it 63, right in the Champlain Valley in Burlington. 63 will do you, less wind later in the day, showery by later in the day. Saturday, partly to mostly sunny. Could find a few spot showers around on Sunday. It is going to be warmer, 68. Showers are possible Monday, but check this out. Tuesday, we're starting to clear. Then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and next Saturday, all days will feature some sunshine and temperatures in the 50s all those days, too. Steph?